It me, da doom. Welcome to the hall. Welcome back, war gamers. So uh, this is another hobby vlog, and I am actually doing the Iron Hills Captain that goes with the chariot. However, I have done quite a bit of converting to this guy, and uh, the first little part I'll do is uh, I've, I'm making a mounted version for this captain. And uh, that's why I have the beard, is so that I had to um, sculpt a bit on both of the beards. Both for the mounted conversion and uh, for this one, so the beards matched as closely as possible. And I also sculpted a warg pelt onto him. So it essentially took uh, uh, two different stages. One time I just put the green stuff down and did the paws and most of the shaping, including the shaping of the, uh, the warg head. And all the fur, which, if you've seen my how to do fur videos, it's pretty much the same thing. It's only on a surface. I did that on the head, and then once that layer dried, I just put on the claws and the fangs, as well as the ears. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with how this conversion has come out, and I'm really looking forward to uh, playing him not only as a regular captain and a chair captain on chariot, but also as one of my Battle Company's characters, which is actually why he has... The, uh, the warg pelt because he uh, that's part of his lore that I'm not going to spoil so uh, stay tuned for the battle companies when uh, this guy will be part of uh, my Iron Hills company so yeah stay tuned for that and I'll come back once he has been base coated See you this, is, this is actually my Iron Hills captain done with uh, one of his weatherings so I did forget to do base coat and then washing and then I did at the end of the highlights now uh, for a recording but Pretty much I've done the same way every other Iron Hills Dwarf, for particularly Captain. The base coat for the metal was sprayed on Lead Belcher and Cantor Blue. And the coat, the back coat piece, uh, the wolf pelt, the warg pelt, white warg pelt, is um, Floyd One Flush, Cremate White, and a bit of Dawnstone, so very similar to the Gundabad skin color. And uh, then the red is corn Red. The gold was first Balthasar gold, and then the face was Bestigore flesh, and the beard was done in Flight One flesh. And then for the wash, I did an all wash of Nuln oil. I'm pretty much out of that. Then uh, for the gold, it was Nuln oil mixed with Warpstone Glow to get a green effect, and then also some. Franklin flesh shade for the face, as well as both was over the uh, the uh, inside of the cloak. The uh, back did only get watered down known oil wash because I didn't want it to be super super dark, except for the eyes, which I did make super super dark. So yeah, this guy will be in Bow Companies, and you can hear his story where he got this pelt and stuff because that's part of the story. But yeah, so after that, I just highlighted it, similar to other Iron Hills. I pretty much just highlighted um, the metal was the Iron Breaker and Cantor Blue. The gold was first Gehenna's Gold, and then some Aurora Armor Gold. The face was Bestigore Flesh, then Bestigore Flesh mixed with Ungor Flesh. The beard was once again the Flayed One Flesh, back over it. Dry brush of, uh, oh yeah, the base coat for this was a dry, was a uh, Gorthor Brown, then the dry brush of Gorthor Brown after the washes. And the red, any red highlights were corn red, pretty much around the, the cloth area there. The eyes uh, were white, cremate white. The, uh, the uh, irises, the eye color, so that was in Calgar blue and then a bat in black for the pupils. And uh, that was what cremate white and corn red for the ears, then with washes in them. And a bit of corn red highlight. And another wash. So yeah, and then the cloak was simply whited for the base coat, flayed one flesh, cremate white, and dawnstone. Just highlight up lighter and lighter until a final dry brush of cremate white. 
And the Muddy Wash was my usual Muddy Wash of Rykon Flesh Shade mixed with Rhinoxide. So yeah, I'll come back once he has been fully weathered and is on his base. Come See back. So I have done an extra weathering on him. If you can see that, just checking around how the light works, but pretty much I've toned him down a lot. I have some shinier areas, and because I used Forge World Black Soot, as I usually do, as you can see, I uh, did that on the cape. And yeah, so I weathered him and I put him on the base. I did also magnetize him because he is my chariot captain so he should be able to go on the chariot as well so he just is I put I had to uh, dig a hole in the bottom of this to put the magnet in but yeah so otherwise he is done if you want to know how I did the base look in one of my earlier videos I uh, do them pretty much the same way but yeah so I've now finished him and be sure to like comment share and subscribe support your hobbit hobby and act Rookie Astu thank you